a big hello and warm welcome back to all to Pascal's story time. I hope you're doing very well. I'm happy to be able to share today's book with you. It's an important, poignant, and true story. Three lines in a circle. The exciting life of the peace symbol. Written by Michael G. Long with striking eye-catching illustrations by Carlos Vélez. Jerry hovered over his drafting table and began to draw his dream. One line straight down, one line to the right, one line to the left, then a circle. That was all, just three lines in a circle. That's it, Jerry thought, a symbol of my dream, a world without bombs. Energized and excited, Jerry asked people who shared his dream to share his design with others who shared their dream. But one man mocked it, saying, it doesn't mean a thing and it will never catch on. Wow, was he ever wrong. It caught on all over London and all over England, standing for ban the bomb. This happened at a march from London to Aldermaston. It sailed on to the United States of America, where it also caught on, standing for make peace, not war. Yes, indeed, it caught on and on and on, standing for peace, for all, and especially for black people and brown people, women and poor people, LGBTQ people, and people with disabilities. It sailed on across the globe where it caught on, standing for peace, for all, and especially for black people in South Africa, unity in Germany, Aboriginal people in Australia. Oh my, how it caught on and on and on. Standing for peace for all. And especially for earth and animals and fish. It caught on and on until today when it stands for peace and Black Lives Matter, peace and end gun violence, peace and stop climate change. Peace and believe women. And if I may add, peace 
and no war. Three lines in a circle. Catching on, fighting on, moving on to you. For older readers, I will share a short history of the peace symbol. Near the end of February in 1958, Gerald Holton, a graphic design artist and a former conscientious objector, attended an early evening meeting of the Direct Action Committee against nuclear war in South London. The committee's three members, Hugh Brock, Pat Arrowsmith and Michael Randall were planning a protest march against nuclear weapons. The 50 mile long march was to start in London on Good Friday and end on Easter Sunday at a nuclear weapons factory in Aldermaston. So Jerry, let's see what you have for us, said Brock. Holton opened his portfolio and pulled out his pictures. I've tried a simple approach, he said, pointing to the three lines in a circle. He explained that when drawing the symbol, he adopted letters from semaphore, the alphabet used by people sending messages by flags. The two lines pointing downward and to the sides came from the semaphore letter for N, and the center line represented the letter D. Placed on top of each other and enclosed in a circle, the three lines stood for nuclear disarmament. After the meeting, Randall showed the symbol to a colleague in the peace movement. What on earth were you three thinking, said the bewildered man. It doesn't mean a thing, and it will never catch on. Hmm. Back in his West London studio, Holton produced black and white banners displaying his symbol in gold leaf so that it would reflect car headlights during the evening hours of the march. He also enlisted his staff and children to help silkscreen 500 picket signs. He called them lollipops, featuring the symbol in different colors. About half of the symbols were black and white. They were to be used on Good Friday and Saturday. The other half were green and white for use on Easter Sunday. The change in colors would represent transformation from winter to spring and from death to life. The symbol debuted in public on April 4th, 1958 at the kickoff for the march from London to Aldermaston. At the front of the protest was a banner that included two peace symbols, lollipop peace signs, as well as other peace banners were also raised high among the 500 to 600 marchers. 10 days later, a photograph of the protest appeared in Life, a popular magazine based in the United States. Peace historian Ken Colespun believes that the publication of this photograph marked the first time that the symbol migrated from England to the United States. Back in Europe, the symbol soon became widespread among the growing number of anti-nuclear activists appearing on clothes, flags, banners, buttons, anywhere someone wanted to share its message about disarmament. Neither Holton nor the Disarmament Committee sought to copyright the symbol. They put no legal restrictions on its use. They wanted everyone 
to have free and open access to it. It took a few more years for the symbol to become prominent in the United States. In 1960, the Committee for Nonviolent Action, a group opposed to nuclear weapons, used the symbol on flyers and on signs that activists carried on the San Francisco to Moscow Walk for Peace, which began in December 1960 and ended in October 1961. But the symbol's popularity increased beyond measure when U.S.-based activists began to use it in their protest against the Vietnam War. Anti-war activists, especially students, sewed patches of the symbol onto their shirts, jackets, and jeans. It appeared everywhere someone wanted to declare opposition to the Vietnam War. In the United States, the nuclear disarmament symbol became the peace symbol, and it began to spread throughout the black civil rights movement, especially when Martin Luther King Jr. and other leaders criticized President Johnson for using more money to fight the Vietnam War than to help poor people in the United States. Other social movements also began to adopt the symbol for their own campaigns, women's rights, the environment, LGBTQ rights, and more. Gerald Holtham died in 1985, having lived to see his nuclear disarmament symbol, our peace symbol, take root across the globe, where it continues to aspire all of us involved in the fight for peace, justice, and equality. I will leave you with a short timeline of the peaceful protests. Three lines in a circle. The exciting life of the peace symbol. I wish each and every single one of you here and across the globe much peace every day. Take good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye for now.